Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. <coughs> I know uh, I am a little bit late. I'm sorry. When I'm late like this, it's only because I, I might have left work a little late. Um, but I do uh, try to strive to get, be on here at 2.30. Um, but I will never... <laughs> if I can help it, just not show up. If I can't make it, I'll always make sure to uh, send some kind of notification if um, I uh, cannot make it on here for some reason. Well, but anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful Monday. It is a beautiful Monday. The sun is shining. It's not like freezing cold it's just like a beautiful just just a beautiful start to the week so I've been praying for you all I woke up with you on my mind <coughs> I really um, wanted to try to hop on here and, and do a v live this morning but mornings are hard for me <laughs> they're hard for me I got teenagers and oh my god it's just so hard y'all getting them out the door and just just you know trying to to be on time for work so um but but i am going to try to at least at least once a week i am going to try hi ladies i'm going to try to be on here um at least once a week on live i know we have our <coughs> tuesday prayer call which by the way let me put a quick plug in prayer call will be in the morning 5 a.m who's who's getting on the prayer line who's getting on the prayer line if you're getting on the prayer line holler back at me send some emojis up listen you really do not <coughs> want to miss what the lord is going to be doing uh, on these prayer calls these next few weeks as we're exiting out of 2018 getting ready to enter into um, 2019 God has been moving mightily on the line um, he's been releasing some powerful powerful uh, impartations and so I don't want you to miss it so go ahead get your alarm set I will put a reminder up um, as you guys are coming in, <coughs> put some emojis up, say something to me so that I know um, that these comments are coming through because sometimes I cannot see your comments. So if you can just just uh, type something in for me so that I'm sure that these comments are coming through um, correctly. Praise the Lord. So, yes, try to be on the prayer call in the morning. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Uh, I may hop back on here tonight, too. Um, we'll see what, what the Lord says, but I may hop on tonight. Um, if I don't hop on tonight, somebody else may hop on uh, like we did last Monday. So, uh just be ready because it might be you <laughs> you know i like the bible says to be instant in season and out man it says we got to be ready we have to be ready um to be called on at all times and as you guys know some of you are getting to know me i do yes i love to pull you out of your comfort zone you know that's how i mean y'all i was really thrusted into ministry you know um, I was thrusted into ministry. My, my, uh, leaders, you know, saw something in me, saw the call of God on my life. And I was literally just pretty much thrusted into it. Like there were times I would be called on to, to preach. Um, <clears throat> and I didn't get a lot of notification. Or, you know, I didn't get weeks and weeks to prepare, um, you know, sometimes. And so, um, I think it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, when you're um, called on like that at a moment's notice because it teaches you how to always be in a place of preparation 
um, when God calls on you, you know, um, some a wise person, wise mother in the faith one time. This is not what I got on here to talk about, but um, I'm just y'all know by now we're just going to get on here and flow with God. But a wise mother in the faith, you know, she told me one time, <clears throat> she said, if you have a favorite cup that you know that you drink out of every morning, you're going to always make sure that that cup is ready. And even if uh, there comes a time where maybe you go a few days and you don't drink out of it for whatever reason, um, you're always still going to be sure that it is clean and that it is ready. So that is just a word um, to you all. Be ready. Always be ready for when God calls on you. You know, don't miss your moment. Do not miss your moment because many of you have been, you know, telling the Lord that, that, that you want him to use you. And, um, you know, one thing about it is that God needs to know that he can trust us. <clears throat> Amen. He needs to know. I don't think you guys' comments are coming in. And I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I just don't see him. Um, God yeah, there we go. Hello. Hey, 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 women of God. Hey there, Miss Debbie. Hey there, Sarah. Queens. There we go. But God needs to know that he can trust you. Can God trust you? And, and a lot of times it, it is small things. You know, the Lord might call on you um, to do something that seems small and insignificant. But he needs to know <clears throat> that, you know, you're going to do that, that thing that seems very small and insignificant. It could be, you know, something like, um, you know, just going to go buy a card for somebody, you know, just, just to, to let them know, you know, you're thinking about them. Or, you know, it could be you just sending somebody a text message and just saying hi, you know, just thinking about you, praying for you you know, or whatever, you know, but when God can trust you to do those things and the Lord can start preparing you, um, to, to, to do bigger things. Um, but you have to be in that position and this will, this is going to really move into what I got on here to, to talk about and what we're going to pray into, but, um, <coughs> always be ready type that in for me please always be ready be ready for God to call upon you that's that's why you know we have to really live a life consecrated before the Lord okay we've got to live a life consecrated before him and in a, in a life of purity be yes always be ready thank you we got to live a life that is pure before god and integral okay because in in living a life of purity and a life of consecration a life of integrity before god you know god can call on us y'all to do things we we could not have even dreamed of come on yes amen Amen, Miss Debbie. Yes, in season and out of season. That, that, that's right. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've, you know, people have missed their moments because they were not ready in and out of season. Like, you can't wait on somebody to call on you. You can't wait for your, you know, your your big moment. Um, you know, you, you just have to be <coughs> ready at all times you know before i um really officially um launched out in, into ministry to 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 preach you know preach um pulpit preaching and, and going and traveling different places to uh itinerant preaching um y'all <laughs> i was preaching to people girl y'all over the telephone i was preaching to people you know, everywhere that I went, y'all, and I, and I had been doing it for a long time, okay? I was not waiting for anybody to give me a mic. The Lord spoke to me 
Um, in, in, in the little, it wasn't little actually, it wasn't little at all. <laughs> in the, the, the Southern Baptist Church, Missionary Baptist Church, the voice of the Lord came to me and told me at about eight years old or so, um, you're going to preach my word. He told me that, and that's all I needed y'all is to hear, hear from the Lord and in that moment, I didn't know how I was going to get there. I didn't know y'all what my life was going to look like, what preaching was going to look like. <clears throat> I hadn't even been filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I knew nothing about, you know, having a spirit led life, which that's what we're going to talk about here in a moment. Um, none of that stuff. I didn't know nothing about preparation. I just knew that, that there was a preacher on the inside of me. What's on the inside of you? I want to ask you this afternoon, what is on the inside of you that God wants to draw out of you? You know, and so God knew he could trust me with that. You know, I'll never forget even, um, and this is a word too, you know, for, for you. Um, if you're in a season where maybe, you know, the Lord, um, it, it seems like things are maybe on pause right now. Some of the things that you may even feel led to do, or you have a, a sensing that God is calling you to do, but it's, you're just, it's kind of on pause. You know, I remember I had already, you know, really stepped into, um, <coughs> the ministry somewhat, um, but I hadn't been like fully, um, thrusted into it at that that time not like fully you know it was just kind of a little bit here a little bit there and um I remember when I was married my husband our ex-husband I would come in the house <laughs> and he would he would you know see me on the phone and he would always come in and be like oh I'm sorry did I step in during altar call? Because I would be on the phone, y'all. I mean, of course, you know, I would have taken care of my obligations, y'all. Listen, I knew how to clean and preach and pray, okay? You a bad sister if you know how to clean, preach, and pray all at the same time. And that's what I would do when I was, you know, a stay-at-home wife and things, Um even as a stay-at-home mom, you know, where it wasn't really my season to, you know, really do a whole lot of stuff um, <clears throat> in ministry, uh, which I still kind of did anyway, but um, uh, not, of course, in the fullness of like I can do now that my kids are older, but y'all, that's what I would do. I would, would preach, clean, pray, and that is what I would do. That was my form of ministry at the time and you know what God did God looked on my faithfulness y'all I used to um I used to spend y'all just just so much time in the presence of the Lord y'all I kid you not I would spend so much time in the presence of the Lord true story um to where there would be times y'all I would be uh doing the dishes um, and as I was doing the dishes, y'all, I would just be slayed in the spirit. I am so, so serious. I, y'all, you listen, nobody has to come and lay hands on you. Listen, when the presence of the Lord comes and overwhelms you like that, it doesn't matter if anybody's laying hands on you, speaking a prophecy over you or any of that stuff, you know, but the presence of God Hey, Jackie, the presence of God would just overwhelm me. And I, yeah, I would be doing dishes and I would literally just fall out in the spirit and nobody, you know, was there. It was just me and God, you know, and so, um, you know, just, just, just thinking back, you know, on those times, um, where I, I just stewarded the, the time that I had in the seasons that I had and just was ready. And so there came a time where I was, I was called on and I was called on to run a ministry, um, to help run a ministry, um, for battered women. <clears throat> and, uh, I went in and, and, and co-directed uh, doing that ministry at a local domestic violence shelter here in Indianapolis and some some things ended up happening with the the leadership of the ministry uh my co-leaders just kind of you know had some family stuff going on I ended up having to run that ministry 
I ended up having to uh, lead that ministry, you know, and so now here it is years later, um, the Lord has given me a ministry of my own to, to now steward. And so, um, man, God is good. I promise I didn't get on here to say all that, but it just, it feels right right now. I feel like that's a word for somebody. Y'all come on, talk to me here. <coughs> Let me know that you're hearing me loud and clear. Um, and so I just want to encourage you, you know, with that, just steward what God has already given you. Steward the season that you are currently in. And don't think any form of ministry is too small or, you know, or, um, or insignificant. Okay, it does not matter whether you have a platform or not. Um, right now, you know, what matters is that, that cause you actually do have a platform. It may not be a big platform or, or, you know, you got may not be completely thrusting you out yet, but whatever platform he has given to you in this time and in this season, work it, baby, work it, work it. Y'all type that in for me. Work it, work what you got, work what you got come on type that in for me i'm gonna work what i got i'm going to work what i got yes god has uniquely and we talked a little bit about that i believe <coughs> last week he has uniquely designed each and every one of us and given us something beautiful something glorious um, to, to share with the world. And so work what you got and, and be faithful in that. And God will, will give you more. Amen. <coughs> um, but what I wanted to really pray into today, um, what I really just to download that I really, um, just heard God saying on my way here to, to get ready to do the prayer call here. Um, uh, what I really heard was, living the the spirit field and spirit led life if you guys can type that in for me living the spirit field and spirit led life amen <clears throat> and i you know and i might kind of honestly we might kind of hit this a bit on the prayer call in the morning um because i really just strongly um i really feel this very strongly in my spirit um you know the lord doesn't want us to just be spirit filled but he wants us yes come on jackie help me preach work with what you got work it baby work it <laughs> but the lord doesn't want us to to only just to be spirit filled Okay, yes, it's good that we are spirit filled and you know we 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 speak in tongues and 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 you know we um experience the manifestations of God um and and have charisma and all those things are like wonderful, okay? There there's just nothing like experiencing that 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 supernatural uh, encounter with the Lord, you know, when God fills you with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And when you experience, you know, the overwhelming presence of God, um, and, and then there's nothing like that. It's wonderful, uh, to be spirit filled. Okay. But God, number one, he wants us to stay filled. Type that in, please. We have to stay filled, stay filled with the Holy Spirit. When we get filled <coughs> with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, because that is the only biblical evidence um, that indicates the initial infilling of the Holy Spirit. Now, there's other evidences in fruit too. Thank you, Jackie. There's other evidences in fruit too. Yes, the fruit of the Spirit um, uh, must be evident in our life as well. But the initial evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit, biblically, it is, it's tongues. And if you got questions about that, then hit me up. Um, and you know, we'll talk about it, but, um, I think we all know that on here now. I don't feel like I have to take a whole lot of time with that, but 
um, a lot of times what happens in Christianism is we get filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, we experience the tongues and everything. Um, you know, and, and every now and again, if we go to a good church service or a good conference or, or whatever, you know, um, we experience a high time in the Lord or what we call, you call, you know, just a, a, a time of where the, the spirit is high or whatever. Um, and that's all great too, but I want to talk about our day to day. Can we talk about that for a moment? Our day to day lives. Okay, because there's not always going to be um, a conference going on. We can't, you know, live our life. And I love conferences. Um, we're going to a conference this weekend that I am super excited about. Shout out to Ashley Taylor <coughs> for um, inviting us to this conference. I, I know God's really going to move and it's going to be amazing. Uh, but I love conferences and I love retreats and all that. But, you know we can't actually live our lives every day in a, a uh, in, in a place or atmosphere like that, you know? Hey, Ashley, I just mentioned you, honey. Hey, baby girl, Ashley, I just now mentioned you. I done talked you up. Hey, girl. This is my baby girl right here. God is so good. But yeah, you know, we can't live our lives you know, at a, at a conference and at a retreat, you know, but we have to learn how to every single day walk in the spirit. Come on, type that in for me. We have to learn how to walk in the spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. No, I literally just said your name. Like, I just spoke your name before you got on here. God is good. God wanted you on here for such a time as this. Praise the Lord. Oh, what did I say? Oh, I just mentioned that conference. I just gave a shout out to you. <laughs> I just gave a shout out about the conference this coming weekend. I'm so excited about what the Lord is going to do. Praise God. But, you know, God wants us to live. You know, I just want to tell you this. And this is something that I feel very strongly about. Yeah, God. Yeah, God is good. <laughs> God had you on uh, in, on his mind. Well, he's always got you on his mind, but he just put you on my mind. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I want to tell you something. And I feel like a lot of Christians really mi miss out on this. Is that, you know, you don't have to wait for a conference or wait for some special service or you know special uh you know um retreat or whatever um to to experience uh living filled with the spirit of god living a spirit filled life like i i just shared uh before ashley got on here i just shared you know how when i was a uh Yes, that's right. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie helping me preach this afternoon. You know, I, I just shared with you all how, you know, when I was a stay-at-home mom and, you know, how I would just keep an atmosphere. I would just keep, yes, I had babies crying and yes, that's right, all the time. Amen. Yes, I had to tend to obligations. I had to clean. I had to be a, a, a wife. I had to do all that stuff. Okay, but... I learned the art, y'all. There is a art. I feel God. There is a art, y'all, to, to living a spirit-filled life, you know? And, and so nobody was there in the kitchen laying hands on me when God would literally, y'all, slay me in the spirit doing dishes. Glory to God. Do you know that the presence of God can come and overwhelm you like that? Where, I mean, you can just be doing normal everyday things and the Lord can just, just slay you and just lay you out and just, you know, begin to speak to you and begin to reveal something to you. Amen. Evangelist, our auntie, our ministry auntie is on here. Amen, Ashley. Thank you. That's right. We do have to constantly lead a spirit feel life. So how do you do that? How do you do that? Number one, um, and the Lord has been really, really dealing with me uh, about this here lately. 
You felt the spirit so strong. Me too, Ashley. I've been really feeling a strong spirit of God as, as well. I've been feeling that too. There's just a strong, y'all, God is just really hovering. Like, I feel like the spirit of the Lord is just right now just hovering. Like, I, I feel the Holy Ghost even so strong right now in this moment. And listen, you know, God has been really dealing with me about this because I think we have a ten. I know we have a tendency in the body of Christ. Like I just said, we get filled with the Holy Ghost and we have our, you know, little spiritual hyped up moments and, you know, us charismatic, Pentecostal, apostolic, whatever, you know, genre. You, you too, Miss Debbie. Come on, y'all. God's about to do something. It's getting right. That's right, Auntie. Pure hands and a clean heart. Bible says that those that have clean hands and a pure heart, that's how we ascend into the hill of the Lord. Glory to God. But um, I, I feel like a, a lot of us in, in, in Pentecostalism, um, that, that we have really lost the value there. There is a value that has been lost, um, when it comes to, uh, the fact that God has, has given us divinely, you guys, divinely his spirit, his Holy spirit. He's filled us with himself. Come on, y'all. He has filled us with himself. My God, the Bible says we have a treasure in earth and vessel. And, and when he filled us with his spirit, we begin to supernaturally speak. Uh, speak out a language come on y'all it was a language we were not taught by by man but we begin to supernaturally speak out a language the language of heaven the language type that in y'all the language of heaven glory to god that was supernatural that was miraculous glory to god but what has happened uh, to the modern Pentecostal, the modern charismatic church is uh, we have really lost the value of what 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 that holds y'all come on y'all we've lost the value of it and, and a lot of people you know there's people y'all that can speak in tongues one moment and cuss with the same mouth the next moment come on i know i'm talking good there's people that can speak in tongues one moment you know and, and have a nasty attitude the next moment glory to god can speak in tongues glory to god on sunday morning and by next Saturday or they're in the club shaking it up glory to God but the Lord glory to God he wants us to go back and revisit hallelujah the the holiness y'all and the sacredness and what he has given us number one with his spirit but glory to God but the 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 tool of praying in tongues praying in the Holy Spirit Come on, there is a, a sacredness, y'all, and a holiness. Amen. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, the language of heaven. The language of heaven. That's right. Come on, this is good. Praise God. Yes, the, 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 the language of heaven. Yes, the, the, the Spirit of God helps us to operate. Glory to God in power, in authority. Glory to God. But it also helps us, y'all, to operate in love. Come on. The fruit of the Spirit in patience. The, the Spirit of the Lord helps us to operate in, in joy and all those di different fruits of the Spirit in goodness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we have to keep ourselves stirred up. Come on, type that in for me. Keep yourself stirred up. Keep yourself stirred up. For the word of the Lord says, glory to God, um, to stir up the gift that is within you. Stir up the gift that is within you. Glory to God. What is that gift? That gift is a gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Ghost. That is the gift because listen, once we start up the gift of the Holy Spirit, everything that comes, I feel God in here, everything that comes with the Holy Spirit can be released. Come on, my God. Listen, if you are struggling, 
in any area of your life, if you are struggling in your love level, pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. If you are struggling, glory to God, in impatience, if you find yourself being irritated and just being short patience, pray in the Holy Ghost. If you find yourself depressed, come on, and feeling lonely, Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you're lacking joy. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And not, listen, no, we, we don't have to be loud and we don't have to be crazy and, and, and out of order. God did not call us to be wackos and to be, you know, undignified people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and, and to be a strange type of people. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Glory to God, hallelujah. So people should be able uh, to, to communicate with us and people should be able, we should be able to engage with people without people uh, thinking, you know, we're all crazy and stuff. Hallelujah. But you can just go throughout your day. Just all day throughout the day, throughout the day while you're sitting at your desk doing your work, you can just and you don't have to feel anything listen that's a big mistake that i feel like a lot of uh the the, the church um has has made people to believe that you have to feel something you do not always have to feel something. You can't always wait on a feeling. Glory to God. But it is your job. It is my job to stay stirred up in the spirit. To stay stirred up in the spirit. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you uh, praise God. Um, glory to God, if you're needing God to give you wisdom on, on things, you know, if you're uh, at work and you're needing God to give you wisdom, just begin to just pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Glory to God, because he is the spirit of wisdom. Let's keep this in mind, y'all. The Holy Ghost, it is God. It is God. The Holy Ghost is God himself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, the book of Hebrews tells us how God in diverse times and diver many parts and many ways <coughs> has revealed himself. But in these days, he has revealed himself as Jesus Christ. So uh, Jesus is, is God in the flesh, the Holy Spirit. It is God is the spirit of God at work in the earth. Woo, my God. Think about that, y'all. I'm sorry. That makes my head hurt. That makes my head hurt. Just to even think about the fact that the true and living God, glory to God, has come to fill our earth in vessels. You're talking about everything that was created was created by God, the creator. My God. Hallelujah. So if you need innovation, glory to God, you can access it by way of the Holy Spirit spirit if you need uh, glory to god uh, a, a fresh idea god can give you my god yes god is giving some revelation on here hallelujah god can give you million dollar ideas my god he can give you million dollar ideas hallelujah because god he is the spirit of wisdom type that in he is the spirit of wisdom glory to god but we got to tap in we have to stay tapped in we've got to be so in tune hallelujah with the frequency of heaven if we stay tapped into the frequency of heaven Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There is nothing. There is nothing in this earth. Hallelujah. That we cannot do anything that God has called us to do. Y'all. We have access to the wisdom. My God. And the innovation that is needed. Oh, Korabashaya. Hallelujah. To walk in that wisdom. And to walk in that innovation. Woo! Oh my God from glory. Do you guys listen, y'all? 
I don't know if you guys realize this or not. You know, the demonic realm, and I promise you, if you hear this again in the morning, it's because this thing is so deep in my spirit. Uh, you know, the demonic realm always tries to replicate and duplicate um, the realm of heaven the realm of heaven and so that's why you got a lot of imposters and stuff out there that you know say they're of god um but they're really uh they're really uh what do you call it uh wolves in sheep's clothing there are people that they access uh the dark world and, and they're in, involved in the occult and all those sorts of things, uh, glory to God, but they, they're imposters. But this is what I want to tell you. Do you guys know that, that, uh, some of the people that we look at now that are the wealthiest people on this earth, um, uh, you look at Steve Jobs, you look at, um, the, the guy that, that created Google and some of these other, uh, wealthy mainstream people. Do you guys know that they took a certain kind of medicine to tap into that intellect? Did you know that they, they took a certain type of medicine, um, to tap into that intellect. The Bible calls it pharmacia. Pharmacia, that is a form of witchcraft. Do you hear me this afternoon? But, uh, they knew that if they, they, they took this medicine, that it would do something, uh, in their, their brain, something to open up, open them up to another level of innovate. Yes, it's true. It's true. Even y'all, even, um, actors, you know, a lot of actors, what these actors do. So y'all don't know, don't, didn't even know, but I'm getting ready to, 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 to give you a revelation with this thing here. Even actors and actresses, a lot of them, they go through, uh, these different spiritual, uh, rituals to where they literally, they, they tap into the spirit of the character that they're trying to be. I don't know if you guys ever seen the Dorothy Dandridge movie. I really like that movie. It was a really, really good movie, but, um, Dorothy, uh, Dandridge, uh, Holly Berry, um, she had to, to summons the spirit of the original Dorothy Dandridge, uh, to get into role and get into, to character. I've even heard Denzel Washington say that before that he had to, um, really tap into, uh, the spirit of a particular character and summons that spirit, um, to, to be that, that role. <coughs> so I'm telling you that to say this. If the demonic realm can get a hope to that revelation and be so successful, why can't we, why don't we tap into the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of wisdom, glory to God. Why don't we Yes, Lord, pour out your spirit in Hollywood. And even right now, we just speak over those that have great influence because there are some people, um, some spirit filled believers that have some great influence in Hollywood. And, and, and there are actors and actresses that are coming into um, uh, their churches. And so we just bless the, the work of those that, um, that's where their, um, their, uh, field is, is, is in Hollywood. Praise the Lord. But this is what I'm saying. Y'all, we only really live up. Probably we don't live up to nearly, uh, the majority of percentage that we should glory to God as spirit filled believers, because see, like all we want to do, all we want to do is, is, you know, we want to praise break you know we want to have you know the charismatic thing the charismatic manifestations and there's nothing wrong with that listen because i truly feel like that you know especially with all this going on in the earth today we need to enjoy our salvation the bible talks about the joy of our salvation we need to enjoy that's why i do love coming together you know with other believers um uh, that's why i do love and if you don't go to conferences and stuff like what it 
you should do that. You should make that a point in 2019. If you're just stuck in your, you know, little bubble, if you're just stuck in your, you know, just your foreign no more, your, you know, organization, your whatever, you know, I, I want to encourage you to get out the box, go fellowship with some other spirit filled believers, glory to God. And, 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 you know, outside of what you may be used to, uh, because there's such power in that. Um, but, uh, what I what I really my point is what I really want to drive home to you is this. You know, it's time for us to really really live at full capacity in the spirit. And and really use the technology that God has given to us. My God, God has given us y'all something that God has given us the most valuable thing that can be given to man. You know, glory to God, his spirit, him on the inside of us. And so, you know, he wants us to do more than just have a, all the sensationalism. Like, and God has been speaking, just speaking some things and downloading some things into my spirit about, you know, uh, the shift of the church, of the ecclesia, some things that God is really shifting in the ecclesia. And we're really coming to into a place of maturity. Glory to God out outside of just you know all the excitement and thrill and stuff but god do you you know understand this god is trying to put some of us in governmental systems god is trying to give us influence y'all in high places high ranking places god wants to give some of us yeah influence in hollywood come on glory to god can you imagine that you going over to hollywood and god using you to release revival in hollywood why not y'all azusa street happened in la glory to god and so um, the heart of revival, y'all, is, is right where Hollywood is. Come on. My God. I mean, God is trying to raise us up in the marketplace. God needs us, y'all, for more, for more than just the four walls of the church. You know, yes. You know, be committed. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. And God's going to use you in that. God's going to use you in that, Ashley. You know, um, I didn't want to, I didn't really want to, um, do, do Facebook live videos. I did not me and God, you know, kind of, kind of went back and forth. Um, see, look, come on. One accord. Amen. Y'all we're going to be talking more about that too. Last night, pastor Jesse, <coughs> it was what he spoke was really a confirmation um, because God, it really, God takes me through certain seasons where he really stirs my spirit up to revisit, uh, the events of Azusa. And so I've been really feeling that in my spirit lately. And pastor Jesse, um, he just confirmed that last night. And so, um, you know, I was saying, Ashley, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do Facebook live videos. I didn't want to be videotaped um well it's not a videotape anymore that shows my age i just didn't want to be on videos and i i you know was cool with just the prayer line people don't have to see me you know and just doing the podcast but god is saying no i'm extending your reach god wants to extend your reach and so um uh yeah, that was amazing confirmation. That was such an, a good service. It was just a that was a that was a good good service. Lots of confirmation. But I want to tell you all, you know, God wants to use you mightily in this hour. He wants to use you mightily in ways that you, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. You got such a powerful testimony. I really hope you get on the prayer call in the morning. You know because. Uh, well, we missed you last week, but you know, I do want you to just share in the morning, um, if you don't mind, just a few brief moments about what God did for you two weeks ago and you're in God filling you with the Holy Spirit. And so he, now he wants to use you, Ashley, God wants to use you, uh, Miss Debbie, God wants to use you, Sarah, God wants to use you, uh, Aunt Marty, God wants to use you, glory to God, I'm just speaking to to, to those that, that are, are on here this afternoon, Sister Tabitha, I'm not, you know, leaving anybody out, but those that I know that were just on this midday uh, prayer 
Glory to God that made the press to be on her. God wants to use everybody, even those of you that watch the playback. Even if I did not speak your name, God wants to use you. He, but he wants to use you, y'all, in fresh ways. Some of us are, are, are you know, um, we're locked in and we're boxed in. We're so boxed in. Some of us box ourselves in. And then some of us, other people have us boxed in, but God is not limited. Do you know God can give you a groundbreaking idea, a fresh idea that, that we've never seen before? Glory to God. N nobody ever heard of the internet. Glory to God until the internet was invented. Somebody got the idea. I told you how they got, got the idea though. Glory to God. And so God just wants us to, to tap into that. Praise the Lord. And then he wants us also, you know, to, to not just be used, but he wants us to bear the fruit of the spirit. Cause there's people that are out there that are powerful and that are anointed, you know, but they act, they act ugly. And that is not God's will for us to act, to be anointed and act ugly. You know, God wants us to love people and have his heart. Praise God, you know. And so anyway, we're going to pick this up in the morning. I didn't really mean to go this long talking. And so we're just going to pray into this just for a few moments. So glory to God. Go ahead and <coughs> begin to throw up some prayer emojis. Throw up some, some fire emojis. And Father, we just say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you in this place, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you. Come on, let's welcome him. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, we feel you even now, God. In Isonda Makia, we feel you now, God. We feel your presence, oh God. And we thank you for your presence, God. Your presence is heaven, Father. Yay, God, we thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you this afternoon, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Come on, let's welcome him. Let's welcome him. I feel a weighty presence of God in this place. I just speak a glory invasion. I speak a glory invasion over each and every one of you right now. As I feel, hallelujah, the presence of the Lord filling this car, I speak a glory invasion over you now in the name of Jesus. May the presence of the Lord begin to fill your space now. May the presence of the Lord begin to fill, hallelujah, your job right now. May the presence of the Lord fill your home right now. Fill up your car right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, because when God shows up, hallelujah, the impossible begins to come possible. Glory to God. Thank you, Samantha. Come on. Hallelujah, women of God. Oh, come on, begin to lift him up right now. Hallelujah. He inhabits the praises of his people. So, God, we thank you for glory invasion right now. We thank you. Oh, for your spirit living God oh we thank you God oh God for the winds of Pentecost right now we thank you God yeah 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 for winds of Pentecost God oh God may the winds oh God of your spirit even now oh God begin to blow God in Jesus name Lord may the winds God of your spirit Lord, below. Come on, hallelujah, and release the winds of God this afternoon. Release the winds of Pentecost this afternoon. You've got the Holy Ghost. You've got the Spirit of God. Come on and release the winds now in the name of Jesus. God, even as you are invading our space, oh God, 
Oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, we release that God in the earth, oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yellow of Okoshaya begin to fan Hondi Okoshaya. Begin to just fan Hondi Okoshaya. Those flames even now begin to fan the flames even now. Oh release, oh God. Hallelujah, God. The wind and fire, God, in Jesus' name. The wind and the fire, oh God, in Jesus' name. Because as the fire, hallelujah, is being flamed by the wind. Omando Koshaya. Hallelujah. The fire begins to grow. The fire begins to spread. Yeah, 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 yeah. So God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, we release, oh God, by the power of your spirit now, God. Mando Koshaya. The wind and fires of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Samantha. Yellow Koshia. Oh Mando Koshaya. Y'all help me release the winds and the fire of God. Now we release it now. We release it now. We release it in our homes now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we release the fire and we release the winds of God. Hallelujah. Even in our neighborhoods, we release the wind and we release the fires of God by the power of the Holy Ghost. At Tamando Shia, we release the wind and we release the fires of God. Hondiel Koshai, through every street. Hallelujah. Through every alley, God. Yellow Koshai, on every corner, God. In the name of Jesus, he cut Yes, that's why we release your spirit like a rushing mighty wind. We release it, God. Hondo Koshia all over Indianapolis, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mando Koshia. Hallelujah. If you're from a different city, hallelujah. Come on and release the wind and release the fire of God. Hondo Koshia all over your city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, release God a fire, Lord, that will burn up, Father. Yeah, God, the evil God, in Jesus' name. God, release God a fire, Lord. God, that will burn away, Lord God. Oh, God, every spirit, God, Hallelujah, that is not like you, God. Ikando Shia. Yes, Lord. Release it, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, all over Hamilton County, oh God. Release it, oh God. All over central Indiana, God. Release it, oh God. All over, God, northwest Indiana, God. All over the southern region of Indiana, God. Rakalarabo Sandia. All over Anderson, God. Yes, God, release the fire and release the winds through us, Lord. Yes. Who called Go ahead and lay hands on your belly. Hallelujah. Women of God, this afternoon, lay hands on your belly. And begin to release the glory. We release it. We release it. Yes. she over every church, over every church in Indiana, in the name of Jesus, every church, God, every denomination, Lord God. Mm. Oh, ba 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 shikia ba 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 saya. God, hallelujah. Oh, God, we release, Father. Oh, God, your glory, Father. Uko ba 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 shikora di anda ba God, even over, God. Oh, God, the places of a cult, Father, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, we release it now, God. We release it now, God. Yekiando shi over every psychic practice, Lord, God. In Jesus name God we believe oh God that your winds can blow Lord oh God where evil is lurking God where evil is lurking oh God in the name
name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we want the greatest revival since Azusa. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we want the greatest revival. Hallelujah. Anybody else just agree this afternoon? Yes, Lord, that we will experience the greatest revival since Azusa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, we come into agreement. Ashley, hallelujah, for the spirit of love, power, and unity, because that is what it's going to take. That's what it's going to take. Rakanda babado shika nederiko sai rukodi anderiko shaya in the name of Jesus. And that's right. We bind up and we come against every demonic stronghold in Jesus' name. We bind it up and we boot it out. Yekomando koshai. We bind it up and we boot it out in the name of Jesus. Rakandi osianda bahaya. Some of you got some loved ones. Hallelujah. That are bound up. Hallelujah. Omando koshi. You've got some loved ones that are in fetters, that are in chains. Rakandi but right now we bind up the enemy that is binding up our family members in Jesus name yeah 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 come on that's right we loose your mighty spirit we loose the spirit of God we loose the spirit of God hallelujah because we have to learn not only just how to bind but we've got to learn how to loose and we've got to learn how to release Okondia Shia. Hallelujah. Heaven in the earth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Kondiashi, may it be, Father. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God, all over the Midwest region, God, as it is in heaven, Lord. Yes, as it is in heaven, God. Let it be released, God, all over the Midwest region, God, as it is in heaven. Come on, type that in, as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Yes, we lose humility. Glory to God. Because we've got to walk in humility. Hallelujah. For the Bible says that the meek shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in an abundance of peace. The meek shall inherit the earth. Those that are humble. We shall inherit the earth. So we receive now, God, a spirit of humility now, God, in the name of Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, God, we receive that, God. Yes, God, we lose power, love, unity, and salvation. That's right over the Midwest region, over the Great Lakes, God. My God, mm. God, in every effort, Father, that is being made, O oh Lord, hallelujah, to gather people together, God, for the purpose, God, the one purpose, God, O oh God, of turning our attention toward you, Lord, hallelujah, God, every effort that is being made, God, to gather people together, to seek your face, Lord, God, to release, God, your glory in the earth, oh God, to release your heaven in the earth, Lord God. Every effort, God, this conference is coming up. God, this weekend, Father. God, any other conferences that are coming together, bringing people together, Father. To seek your face, oh God. God, we just bless it in Jesus' name, God. We ask that it will be saturated with your spirit, Father. God, that we get rid, God, of every agenda of man, Father. That we get rid of every agenda, Father God. Oh God of selfishness, Lord God. Oh Komamando Koshaya. That we rid ourselves, my God. Oh God of the Spirit, Father God. Oh Kodiashia of division, God. In Jesus' name, oh God. Oh Bababashia, God, that spirit, God, that says, Hallelujah. Oh God, that my church is better than yours, that my organization is better than yours. Hallelujah. That spirit that says that we know it all. And we got it all. Mando Koshaya, God, break that spirit, God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. We do pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That these conferences will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, God. That we stop playing, Father. That we quit playing church, God. God, that we quit, Father. Hallelujah. Just getting uh, caught up, glory to God, in charisma and sensationalism, God. Oh, banda kaya sunanani kubasia. But there will be, God, oh, God, a mighty release, oh, God, of the anointing, God, that there will be, God, a glory invasion, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Ha, na, 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 Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, bless your trailblazing daughters, God. Yes, that's good, Samantha. That, that's a confirmation. That's a confirmation. <clears throat> Glory to God, because the, the Lord has been speaking about pioneers. Hallelujah. Pioneers of revival and in a trailblazing anointing. God, give us wisdom and how to walk in a trailblazing anointing, God. A trailblazing anointing, God. A, a, a anointing to break into something fresh, Lord God. An anointing, God, to lead the way, God. Hallelujah. Even if we've never seen it done like that before, God. We will have the boldness, God, and the courage, oh God, to step in out father we pray even i feel led to even pray god that there will be a release god of of, of godly uh counsel and support and mentorship Praise God. Hallelujah. As we step forward, God, hallelujah, into a, a trailblazing anointing, God, that God, you will put mentors together with mentees, Father, in Jesus' name, God. Oh, God, not just people that want to control people, Father, God, not just people, God, that are trying to, to build up proteges, Lord God. Glory to God, or many me's, Father, but they're those because I heard that in the spirit as I was driving this morning. I heard that in the spirit. Hallelujah. That God wants to release glory to God. A fresh movement of mentorship. A fresh movement of mentorship. Hallelujah. Type that in for me. A fresh movement of mentorship. Glory to God. A fresh movement of mentorship. Oh God, because I sense in my spirit very strongly that there are some trailblazers that are out there. Glory to God, there are some pioneers out there. Hallelujah, but they, they don't have anyone. Glory to God, they're, they're very misunderstood. Stood. They're very, yes, a fresh movement of mentorship. Glory to God. Yes, Sura Bakia, you're praying for a loving mentor. Glory to God. Well, we release that over you right now. We release over you now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That, that you will have a loving, wise mentor that walks in, in true integrity and holiness of God. I release that over you. God has given me a mantle for mentorship. He has given me a mantle, a, a, a literal mantle for mentorship. And so I feel something, something really happening in the spirit in this hour with, with mentorship. Glory to God. And so in the name of Jesus, Handio Koshaya, Mando Korabashaya, Rede Kosia. I release that over every one of you. If, if you are without mentorship, if you are without mentorship, I release over you now. I release over you that mentors and coaches are, they're coming. Glory to God. They are coming. They're coming to partner with you in your vision. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. And even, even my mentor who she was just on here just briefly a moment ago in the name of Jesus. She walks 
in a, a Deborah's anointing. And so even in, in the name of Jesus, I just pull on the anointing of my mentor that was just on here over evangelist uh, Martia Stewart. I just pull on her anointing right yet. I pull on her anointing right now as well. Hallelujah. That you will receive a mentor. Glory to God that, that will have wisdom and that will love you, not try to control you. Glory to God. Uh, one, glory to God that, that will correct you. Glory to God in love that will rebuke in love. Glory to God. One, hallelujah, that is sensitive to the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. One, hallelujah, that 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 uh, carries you in prayer. Hallelujah. That literally carries you in prayer. In the name of Jesus, I release that over you now. I release that over each and every one of you right now. And I just even, I even just sense the Lord wanting uh, to, God, God wants to release some divine interruption. God is wanting to release some divine interruption um, in relationships. Um, and I don't even know exactly who this, this is for, but I really feel like that this is a, a rhema word. I feel like this is a, a Kairos moment right now. That the Lord wants to release divine interruption over some of the relationships. <clears throat> some of the relationships um, that are in your life. And, it, and this may or may not be for somebody that's on here right now. It may be for somebody that listens to the playback. But some divine interruptions and some relationships in your life. Because um, glory to God, some people uh, that are in your life, they're not properly placed they're not in the proper placement glory to god god has people uh for specific areas in your life bless you samantha bless you bless you I'm, I'm getting ready to wrap up thank you for joining i pray that you can join us on the prayer call in the morning and i want to release this word um people have to be properly placed in your life properly placed some people are in an area of some of your lives that they are not god didn't call them to be in it doesn't mean that they're not supposed to be in your life but there are some people that are in a area in your life that god did not call them into it's you <clears throat> well amen well the word of the lord is being released over you now that God God spoke over this month. He said that this will be a month of divine arrangement, Samantha. And so, uh, oh, you just went through a divorce. Amen. Amen. I've been through a divorce too. And let me just tell you, divorce is one of the most difficult things. And I've been through a lot, but it's one of the most difficult things I've ever been through. But I'm just telling you now that God, God's God got something so great and grand in store for you. Ah, my toko shy. I just want to encourage you, woman of God, Samantha, that God, your eyes haven't seen, your ears haven't heard, neither has it entered into your heart the things that God has prepared for you. And whatever has had to be removed, whoever has had to be removed, God will replace. And until God re replaces, glory to God, God is going to fill every single void. And he's going to equip you with everything. Everything I'm doing right now is, is but by the grace of God. I didn't know how I was going to move forward from a divorce. I've been divorced now for about 10 years. And, and I definitely desire uh, to to be uh, married to the to the the right person in the right timing. Glory to God. God told you He wasn't your husband. Well, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we declare that the soul tie, the soul tie, that the soul tie is being broken now. We declare that over you in Jesus' name. We agree in Jesus' name. Hand 
Kendo Koshai that there will be no more residue, no more residue in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We just release a breaker's anointing over you right now. We release a We release a breaker's anointing over you now. In the name of Jesus, an anointing that will shatter, shatter that tie. And that you are coming into a shandarabosia. Whoo, glory. You're coming into a fresh identity. You're coming into a fresh identity. A fresh identity. Yes, God. You're coming into a place of reinvention, Samantha. God is reinventing you. God is reinventing you. Hallelujah. Take your time. Take your time. Hallelujah. Because there, this is a process of reinvention that's happening for you. And we just release that over you now in Jesus' name. Y'all, I feel God. I could go on and on and on. But I'm, I'm going to let you guys get off of here. If you can join the prayer call, be on the prayer call in the morning at 5 a.m. I'll post the information later. I love you all. Thank you for joining. I bless you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye, everyone.